A very good evening. You're watching the business news in Bahrain International with me, Heba Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain oil share index has closed at 1,278.94 points, marking an increase of 0.48 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the investment sector, where investors mainly traded, representing 37% of the total value of traded shares. 144 transactions took place, including 6,239,209 shares, worth 1,774,947 Bahraini dinars. The Information and E-Government Authority released the preliminary results report for the second quarter of 2017, indicating that the economy registered real growth at constant prices compared to the same period last year. According to the report, the Bahraini economy reflects the flexibility and diversification of its economy. This is a result of the success of the economic policies in the kingdom, as well as the infrastructure that is capable of attracting foreign investment. Moreover, it confirms that the national economy is moving in the right direction. As part of his walking visit to the United States, Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister Zaid Al Zayani participated in the roundtable discussions organized by the Gulf Arab Institute in Washington. During the meeting, the minister affirmed the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and the United States in various fields, especially in the economic fields, noting the ongoing cooperation in the economic sector in which investors and businessmen had a great impact on enhancing bilateral relations. They discussed and reviewed many issues and praised the efforts exerted by the Institute to develop and enhance the trade partnership in line with the aspirations of the two countries' leaders. Electricity and Water Affairs Minister Dr. Abdul Hassan Mirza received Chairman of Aqua Power Mohammed Ubanyan and the company's Executive Director for Business Development Yusuf Al Zuhair. The Saudi based company specializes in power generation, water desalination, and renewable energy development projects. The minister was briefed on the company's activities and programs and its desire for cooperation with Bahrain. The delegation also expressed the company's desire to look at investment opportunities in the country. Dr. Mirza praised the company's efforts to promote clean and environment-friendly energy and said Bahrain's wise leadership is encouraging its use. He said they welcomed cooperation with the company specialized in this field and would study their office. Saudi Arabia has approved a new law regulating trade in petroleum products, saying that such products should not be used in industry except at world prices. A statement issued by the Saudi Council of Ministers said that the Council decided to approve the system of trade in petroleum products. It's not permissible to use the petroleum products that the state has priced except fuel in incineration operations, whether in the means of transport or industry. The government confirmed that it will continue its policy of reforming domestic energy prices and prices will be gradually linked to global indicators. National Bureau of Statistics said today that the Chinese economy grew steadily in the first three quarters of 2017. China's gross domestic product expanded 6.9% year-on-year in the first three quarters of 2017 to about 8.96 trillion US dollars. The service sector expanded 7.8% year-on-year in the first three quarters, outpacing a 3.7% increase in primary industry and 6.3% in secondary industry. In the first three quarters, total value of Chinese imports and exports rose by 16.6% year-on-year to 3.06 trillion US dollars, with mechanical and electrical products remaining to be a major drive for exports. Growth in China's fixed asset investment also rose 7.5% year-on-year in the first nine months of this year. That's it from the business desk and it's back to you, Sarah.